Hey guys, it's Lance and Max Sound Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to fix your Bluetooth if you're running OpenCore Legacy Patcher and you have an upgraded Bluetooth card in your Mac Pro 5,1. You might notice that you can turn Bluetooth on and then it turns itself off again, or your Wi Fi card is working but your Bluetooth is not working, or your Bluetooth mouse is sort of working but Bluetooth is turned off. So it took me quite a while to figure this one out. Let's just go look at Bluetooth. I'm in Sequoia, by the way, and it happens with Sonoma, it happens in Sequoia, it was not happening in Monterey when I was using Martin Lowe's open core package. We're going to go to Bluetooth and I'm just going to turn it on and just keep an eye on it for a second and it's going to turn itself off. There it goes. Turned itself off and uh, you can't connect your devices. Although I do have a magic mouse line around here somewhere. Let's see. No. Nope. Yeah, see, my magic mouse just woke up, but there's no Bluetooth devices. As you can see, Bluetooth is off. So even though it's sort of working, all the gestures on the magic mouse don't work. So what we're gonna do is we have to download OpenCore Configurator. That's step number one. So let's go grab that. We're gonna Google OpenCore Configurator. This is the site you want, Mackie 100 Projects. And we scroll down here, and there it is. Open Core Configurator. We're gonna grab that. It's gonna go to our Downloads folder. Because it's not an Apple certified app, of course you're gonna have to allow it in the security settings to open. So once it's downloaded, we'll go find it. And then we're gonna drag it into our dock. There it is. Put it in the old dock here next to Open Core Legacy Patcher. So this is a totally separate app, has nothing, I mean, it works with Open Core Legacy Patcher, but it has nothing to do with it. It's a different developer. And we're gonna get rid of our Safari here. We don't need it anymore. Apple could not verify, right? So you gotta go to your system preferences, go to privacy and security, and Scroll down. You gotta hit done first, and then you hit open anyway. Now it's gonna reopen the application. Open anyway. Put in your administrative password. Okay, now we've got Open Core Configurator open. So the first thing you wanna do is mount your EFI that Open Core is on. And you can go to tools, mount EFI, that's number one. And we're gonna go to team group. That's my NVMe that I have open core on. Mount partition. Administrative password. Okay, there's my EFI. I'm gonna move it up here. We're gonna just quickly look at it. You can see this is my open core folder. Okay, now we're gonna close that. We don't need that anymore because our EFI is mounted. Next step is to scan um, the configurations, which is your config.plist. You want to scan that, and it's also going to scan your kext files. That's the winner. Uh, I think you actually have to click on this. Yep, you got to click on that right there. Double click, and I always get some kind of little EFI is redundant, whatever. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. So now that it's done the scan, you want to click on kernel. All right, so here we go. We don't need this other, some reason two windows are open. Okay, so we're looking for bluetooth-spoof.kext. That is the one that's blocking your upgraded card from working because it's trying to trick the old original Bluetooth card to work in a modern operating system. So all we gotta do is uncheck Bluetooth spoof.kext. Okay, it's unchecked. Very important now, you have to save it and this is gonna save your OpenCore config file. It's gonna update it. So when you update OpenCore, I've actually updated OpenCore Legacy Patcher and it remembered the setting. But if you totally reinstall OpenCore Legacy Patcher, you're gonna have to do this again. And it's very simple. 
you know, once you get used to it and you have the app downloaded, this version of OpenCore Validate is only compatible with OpenCore version 1.0.1. I get that message. I haven't had a problem at all. So we're going to quit and we're going to reboot now. And then you're going to see I'm going to be able to turn on Bluetooth. So again, Bluetooth is off. Wi-Fi works. It doesn't have an issue with the Wi-Fi card with OpenCore Legacy Patra, and it is an updated card. Um, so we're going to reboot. Rebooting into Sequoia. Okay, we're now rebooted. We're going to go up here and we're going to turn. Oh, look, see, Bluetooth is already on. I didn't even have to go turn it on. So Bluetooth, my AirPods are showing up. Magic Mouse Connect. There we go. Bluetooth is now working. And uh, I think my keyboard, which I have the Apple keyboard here. Yep, oh, that woke it up. Let's just click Connect. And there you have it, folks. That is your Bluetooth fix of the day. Now, I don't know if this works with all different replacement cards, like some people use PCIe cards for their Bluetooth. I don't know if this is gonna work for that, but it probably will, is my guess. If it was working before in Monterey, um, it should now work in Sonoma and Ventura and Sequoia. I'm gonna put the instructions at the end of the video, so if you don't wanna to have to watch it again, you can just go to the instructions and follow that. Thanks for watching. If this helped you out, please give me the thumbs up. I've been getting some thumbs down. I really don't know why people go out of their way to do that. My videos are just here to help. That's about it. And I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. And thanks again for watching and subscribing. And we'll see you in the next Mac Sound Solutions video.